Well, the good news is we can win a friendly. Hey guys, RC here back with uh, our FM21 Journeyman save. We're with our first club, Levante, in Spanish First Division. This is episode two. Please hit that like button and subscribe for daily football manager content. Playing Vigo in this one. We're here for the highlights. Santine with the cross in. It came down to Nass. It got through and he puts it in for his first goal of the season and first goal for the club. Nass would factor in again as he started the run, and it goes back post to Garcia. Sarah played that ball horribly bad, and we were up 2-0. 89th minute. What can go wrong, right? A two-goal advantage. Blanco beats three defenders, gets inside the six-yard box, and gets one back. Oh, and then there's a penalty given up for persistent fouling. We were a man down here. Oh, no, that wasn't this game. I forgot. Um, so, yeah, we'll talk about the persistent fouling penalty, but we give up a penalty and two goals in a one-minute span as we let that one get away. Going back uh, after the Real Madrid win, we lost to Valladolid 4-3. to Ibanez with a brace, and you can see we were up 3-0 in this one. And There's a theme that you're going to see here. And uh, we gave up four second-half goals, including two goals in a one-minute span to Esposito uh, and lose that one. Real Hispalis, we lose 4-2. to uh, Again, we scored early. Looked like things were going well. They equalized, then took the lead. Kovac answered on a header off a corner. Garay was sent off for persistent fouling here, his second yellow, and was sent off in the 93rd minute. That gave away the penalty that Antonio converted to equalize and or to go ahead, yeah, to go ahead. And then Quivera got a 95th minute goal, so two goals in one minute. Uh, you see the theme here? Uh, as we lose this one 4-2, to two, and then Vigo, as we just showed, letting that get away with two goals in a one-minute span. Just the defense has been leaky as hell. I kind of have an idea of what it is, but not really. Just uh, I think we're just shit is what it is. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be playing Lagans today, or Laganas, so let me get up to that. We do have a little bit of transfer news to talk about. Salvador Galan was sent to Nemancia for five million, going up to six and a quarter million. And Daniel De La Cruz goes off to Cordoba for nine hundred and seventy-five thousand. So a couple more signings to help our finances. All right, we're gonna go with Pernan in goal, Navarro, Fernandez, Guerrero, and Garay on the back line. Uh, we are without Kovac, who is injured for three more days. Uh, so our main center back is out. Guerrero has good jumping reach, decent enough heading. So we'll keep him on near post duties. Uh, Garay back from his uh, suspension. Enrique and Santine in the mid. The big problem that I think we have, Sagoba is one of our better midfielders. But he cannot defend at all so Prieto can defend a little bit better so and he can pass just as good so we're going to make him our number 10 and we're going to drop Enrique back to our midfield position well do I rethink that you know what let's swap these two guys yeah let's do that uh, so we'll keep Enrique at number 10 we'll bring Prieto who's younger into the midfield a better defender uh you know what i don't need two playmakers there do i let's make him a mazala so he swings outside all right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna switch guerrero to a central defender uh he can't pass as well fernandez can pass very well santine will make a playmaker prieto will move to a mazala because uh, we have nas on an inverted or inside forward so when he cuts in Prieto can fill that void, and that gives us several guys up in the attack. And Ibanez 
up top in the striker position. So we are going back to the tactic that we used against Real Madrid. We have tried that 4-2-4 and just have not been solid, especially defensively. We've scored goals with it. That's certainly not the issue. But I am trying to find something to help build up a little wall defensively. And I just don't think we have the talent for it here. All right, so Ibanez tracks that one down. He goes all the way around. There's Garay on the overlap. Squared in, and Santine takes a crack, and it goes high, possibly wide of the mark as well. Borgia, and it's to the back post. Ramirez can't get to it for Legante. We're in the red. They're in the white. We'll go ahead and give the encouragement shout. Four shots, two on target. Nass into the box, and he throws it right at the keeper, who picks it up on the line. There was no threat there. Oh, good header out to Nass again. He's into the attack. Lays it off. There's Prieto. Good move. Takes a shot, and it goes wide of the mark. Some good ball movement there. All right, there's a header, but nobody gets to it. It's cleared out, and it's going to be Moro on the counter. Our defense is collapsing. Moro goes right through, though. And, oh, he went down injured. Are we going to play on, or are we going to... I think we're going to play on. We're going to ignore him. We're going to do what most teams do. It's in. Ivanez. Oh, what a save by the keeper. And that's going to get time for the injury to be dealt with. All right. Navarro lines up the corner finally. 31st minute. I do not have time wasting on. There's the back post. Looks like it went off the woodwork. And Korkanuski was able to haul that in. So we're up to eight shots, five on target. Moro was injured. Yep, there you go. So they've pulled him off. And scoreless first half. We've been the better side. Not by much. All right, you know what? Let's look at that tempo. I saw the little thing. So let's drop the tempo and go shorter passing. Let's see if that helps us any at all. Sometimes going with a lower tempo helps them make less mistakes. Uh, pump the fist. We owe them. Yeah, let's go with the uh, revenge factor. That's always a pretty good one. Nass into the box. There's a flick over by the keeper. What a save. I think that was on target. And Navarro lines up another corner. And that one's punched out. Nass tracks it down. Squared. Over the top, it's Garcia. And he cannot keep up with it. And that's going to go out for, uh, oh, I guess he was offsides too. That would be uh, another reason. I just don't know what else to do. The only thing I can think is we're seeing a lot of good shots. I may check and see if we have anybody that can play like a, a holding midfield, a defensive midfield, and uh, maybe go to a 4-3-3 with attacking wingers and uh, a defensive midfielder. A, a, you know, a three-man triangle in the mid. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, Enrique's not playing well. Let's bring Sagoba. He can play up there. He can pass. You know, that might be the better place for him. So, yeah, let's bring him on for Enrique. Adria can play very well. Let's bring him on for Prieto. Now, I may not want him as a Mazala, however. Tell you what, let's reverse these guys. And I think that works out perfectly well. Near post again. We're just not quite the threat there without Kovac 
in the side. And there's Christian lining up for a set piece. He plays it short. Good defense by Segoba to get in front of that ball. Ivanez is up front. He comes back to it, plays it through. It's Segoba. Oh, and he just walks it into the goal. That was a horrible shot by him initially. Went off the woodwork, and then nobody collapsed. And I can't believe that. And he just, everybody stood around and looked at it. That was crazy. Really good movement there by uh, Ibanez. And just, we had three guys running in on that ball, and nobody else from from their club did anything there. Lagana's just let that go in, and we'll take it. We will take it. All right, let's go ahead and pull another sub. Looks like uh, Nass and Santine are drawing tired. Wow, I don't have anybody else out there. Either, either way, we're going to be tired on, the, on that side. Mecca could go out on the left wing. Why don't we do that? Let's bring Mecca. Mecca can play on the left. So let's bring him on for Nass and then reverse those guys. That'll work. Garcia can play both sides. Let's encourage him or let's praise him. Let's throw the praise out there. 86th minute. Lumped out. Navarro controls it. Nice pass to break the defense. Over the top to Garcia. A oh, drop into Santine is brilliant. Oh, and he squared it, and that looked dangerous. There it is, the big shot. Oh, what a finish by Ibanez. His third of the season, and that was one hell of a shot. Definitely has to be goal of the year contender here in the early going. Wow. And Ibanez just on the shoulder there. And he pinged that. What's that, 25 yards? I'm thinking that's at least 25 yards. And we are up 2-0. And I am liking that. They go route one. Oh, my God. They, they came off of him. I don't know why. Nobody kept running with him. Luckily, he shot that high because this would have been... One of those two goals in one minute situations. We got the here clearance from the header. Adria makes the run with him. Oh my God, what a header there by Marcano. Wow, that was a brilliant goal. I hate that it was against us. Look at that. Just a flick on header from the edge of the box. I don't think Pernan knew what to do with that. There was no shot. And luckily, we don't concede that second goal in a minute. And we get, hey, we got a goal from our number 10. That's good. Uh, we're going to go outstretched arms, a good win, try to get that morale up. And that moves us up into 11th. And again, I think mid-table is a good, realistic goal this season. Uh, who's he looking at? Ibanez. Well, Ibanez has a uh, release clause that you'll have to do. All right, here's where I need some input from you guys down in the comments. So I know in England, the cost for players is much higher. You know, the English premium, I've heard it called this week. Uh, but what's the deal in Spain with release clauses not meaning shit? I mean, literally, they don't mean anything. I've got a $1.9 million release clause on a player. He's valued at $235,000. He is young. He is a three-star potential prospect. And we're getting offers at, you know, at or below value. And no concern and if I try to negotiate for his release clause. Completely no interest. Um, several guys, three million release clause. I'm getting bids at six hundred thousand. 
You know, and then, of course, I go after guys and they go, well, he has a release clause. And I'm like, yeah, you didn't seem to care when I had a release clause. So if you have any input on how to manage these release clauses, let me know down in the comments. Um, let's finish out the day here. There we go. Just to see a good picture of where we sit. So we beat in the seventh position team. Uh, Real Madrid lost their first two matches, and they've got three losses in five. Uh, that was insane. Real Hispalis, who are mid-table, us who are mid-table, and Villarreal, who are bottom half, have all beaten the defending champs, and they are only three points out of the relegation battle, which is crazy, uh, very crazy. Uh, so we're, we're right in the mid-table mix, seven points, uh, even on goal differential like to start seeing a few you know a few more draws rather than losses but we'll see I, i'm i'm tempted to look at that defensive mid uh in fact do we even have he's not at the club we've got adria and it would be good to actually have him starting i mean the eight's not great but it's better than better than a lot of what we have the problem is we just don't have anybody else uh, Fazekas will be very good there uh, next season, but I mean, you know, better than what we've got. But he doesn't join till the end of the season, so not sure that's viable. I'm wondering, maybe I need to go back to a four-four-two, just more base. Uh, that may be something I look at. So anyway, just uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. Uh, I think we hit the transfers. We did. So now let's get a run of games in. Barcelona, we'll catch them on the second go through. Uh, let's come back for, we'll come back for Alicante highlights and Atletico Madrid uh, on camera. That'll be our next match. So uh, again, hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here. Comment below for the release clause because I can't figure that out. And uh, hey, subscribe because that'll keep you in the know for daily football manager content. Thanks so much for dropping by. We'll see you later. Bye.